It's 2022 and there's a small country of 4 million people with no electricity in it, maybe 22 hours of the day. Am I right? 90% of the population has smartphones. A good chunk of them drive brand new Mercedes with no fuel in the tank. Uh, they spend Monday through Sunday partying and nobody bothers to come up with solutions to old problems because nobody above them is pointing out the issue. This sound about right? If you ask me why Lebanon has no electricity today, it's because the Lebanese people don't demand it like they should. Uh, the people have given too much room to whoever's up there to fuck around with them like this. That's really what it is. And it's not maybe that they gave them too much space, but they've always had it. Like they give, they've always had the authority and the power to do what they're doing. So why question that? Maybe I don't. I don't know. As long as I'm 32 years old, I've never seen Lebanon in really good shape. To be honest with you, they never had full time electricity. It was always running on Ishtiro half the day. Depends where. When I was in Ashrafi, I used to get my house in Ashrafi used to get three hours of no electricity a day. It used to have power 21 hours out of the day, Electri like elevator and everything. And that must have been the best place to live in all of Beirut, to be honest. Back then, it's not like that anymore, especially post-explosion. All right, so if you ask me why Lebanon today doesn't have power, what else? It doesn't have stable fuel, a stable currency, a stable anything. If you ask me why that is, I am going to have to tell you it's because the people have allowed it to get there. The people and the government, but it's the people that elect the government and shit rolls downhill. The people, the government are supposed to serve the people. Am I right? And if the people keep voting the way they always vote, which is what they always do, then you are going to get the same result that you've always gotten. You will never have full-time electricity. Mark my words with this government. You will never have full-time electricity. You won't even improve much past where you are now. High stock prices. Uh, 90 year old women having to climb eight, nine floors to get to their apartments in Beirut. That's not right. You guys don't have human rights and you don't know what human rights look like. That's the fucking problem. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, ask below and I'll see you guys next time.